Hi YouTubers. Well, uh, as per usual, we're busy. Uh, we're planting up uh, a new crop that we've got: pink fir apple potatoes. That's what Mike said. So he's putting them in at the moment. So I'll, I'll show you that. Also, we'll give you an update on the uh, greenhouse, and uh, we'll we'll. Uh, have a look at my plot, have a look at Karen's plot and show you what we've done and the seeds we're doing and uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a good day. Mm. Planting now pink fur apples Mike? Well, pink fur apples? Pink fur apple potatoes. Pink fur apple potatoes. Apple, apple, Potatoes, and how deep have we had to get them, Mike? Four inch. Four inch. Or, or a hundred millimetre. Or a hundred millimetre. Uh, it's about two hundred and fifty, three hundred millimetre apart. And three hundred millimetre apart. So, what sort of potatoes are these? Um, are they like a roaster? All right. Right, so they're expensive. They're expensive to buy in the supermarket. Right. And apparently they don't crop very well, so we'll have to see how much we get. And they're not a very good cropper, so this is our experiment. We tried it last year, we pulled it out of the supermarket. Right, so we, we tried them from the supermarket, right. So we'll try on a different plot. So how many roughly did we get in a packet? Ten. Ten. I'm in the new greenhouse now with Mike and uh, we've christened it at the present moment. Now there's the vine. So that produces black grapes so we'll be uh, getting that fixed up onto the ceiling. I say the bargain of the day was this greenhouse. Uh, five pound in uh, a charity shop all complete and everything so it's fantastic beady well kids we got, uh, got a lot of trays and uh, plant pots that were to hit really cheap we uh, say we're, we're potting what courgettes peppers golden rush courgettes golden rush courgettes so those are for wilkies aren't they I don't know, but they're, they're Johnson's seed. Yeah, Johnson's seed, so yeah, that's what we're that's planting. Them. <laughs> that's them. Uh, we're going to do some more of the, these. And uh, as I say, uh, at the present moment, we've got tomatoes growing in there. What have we got? Money makers, have we? Uh, Gardener's Delight, Garden Pearl, and something else at the top. And what's the ones at the bottom? Those are the other courgettes, those are the Romanoffs courgettes. The Romanoffs, so there you go. Uh, as I say, uh, we're in the greenhouse because, uh, well, just give you a quick update. Look at the weather out there. It's atrocious. One minute it's uh, sun shining and the next minute it's uh, raining. But uh, we're, we're in. Let's say this is Karen's plot, so it's prone to a uh, little bit of flooding, but uh, we'll we'll sort that out. Now, what we've done in the greenhouse in the floor uh, might be fancy uh, two lots of soil and the bricks in the middle, so we've put a uh, weed mat down and then put the path back on it. So, all in all, we're we're not doing too bad. There's medallias in the pots. And as you can see, there's our plot, well, Karen's plot at the moment. And uh, just a, a little quick one. One or two was asking how far I was away from uh, Mark's plot. And they are. Uh, 
You might just see Max. There. That's how far Mark's plot is. Mark Davidson's from ours. So, uh, yeah, there's a quick update. So, our next project is the bunker. So, we'll get rid of that. So, it's just a, to say, a little bit of a quick update just to show you how we are at the moment. Well, what can I say? I'm at uh, my plot now and uh, the other thing about was having uh, an outside swimming pool for Karen. Well, there we go. We might as well have uh, an indoor swimming pool for us. It just shows you how much rain has come in for us. Now, one of our problems we've got at the back of ours is the neighbours, oh lovely neighbours, I've got no complaints but they've all concreted the back garden so it comes down on a slope straight onto our plot and then of course we get all the, the water now as I say, uh, this is the results now even with our uh, plumbing we still get this now just give you a quick update as I go along. Now, as I said uh, in a couple of videos, that what we have, we're, we're on the like a water plate. So, what me and I did is, you see the blue pipe there at the back? Right. Now, previous people who've had this plot have not been able to use it because of the water. Now, what we've done we dug trenches the full length along, as you see, with this, sorry, with that blue pipe, and we dug it right the full length, as I say, full length along there, and then along there, through the beds. So we've done that, and we buried them. We've, um, weed bat and some shingles and then we fed the excess water now as you see we've got a drain pipe that comes down goes into the bucket and then the overflow I don't know if you can see it everybody the overflow we've got we've got it plumbed into here so any overflow we've got goes into the pipe there back into the drains which runs the full length now we never got round to doing one on this side of the plot. So what we'll do, come the weather, we'll uh, put one along here as well to save us. But just as a tip, YouTubers, as I say, we've got drain pipes that's running along the both lengths of those sheds. We've got a pipe again coming off the greenhouse along the line connecting up as you can see right along back into the other side of the greenhouse with the blue pipe connecting up and then we've got it pointed into the drains because as I said YouTubers we dug all along there we'd like to have dug it a, a couple of foot deeper but when the allotment people um, had the drains done it wasn't done deep enough so we've done it on the level that it is we'd love to have done it deeper but it's what is keeping a lot of the water off now as i say this greenhouse is being built on breeze blocks so it's lifted up and vice versa so as the sheds and as I say here as you see there's no water at all because we did all under here so and this bit this is just draining into the drains we did so we're not too bad so we're pretty we're pretty chuffed with that but that that's just a tip we did and the tip to consider 
is, as I say, put uh, what's the name, uh, piping up on the end of your, your drain pipe like we've done there. Uh, just to catch the rain falling, then you haven't got, uh, as they say, a soggy bottom.